So I'm watching Channel 5 News with Andrew Callahan the other day, and I can see he's making his way across Canada from Calgary to Toronto, interviewing my northern neighbors' amazing people. Now, as a journalist slash anthropologist, I love how Andrew is highlighting the contributions that Canada has made to civilization. The word A. Justin Bieber. And perhaps the most prominent sign that Andrew gets it, throughout his videos, he's sporting double denim, aka the Canadian tuxedo. Now, a lot of you guys already know my opinion on the trucker tux. I personally think wearing denim and denim isn't for every guy. It can be a tricky combination. But overall, decent effort. And you know the saying, when in Canada, dress like a Canadian. But seriously, gents, how do you wear a denim jacket with jeans? So first up, the five mistakes that you've got to avoid. Number one, wearing double denim is a casual outfit. Yes, I know I said Canadian tuxedo, trucker tux, that is a play on words. Double denim is casual, no matter how you look at it. Now, if you're a rock star, if you own the business, if you are paying for the party, you can dress however you want. But for the majority of us mere mortals, there are unspoken dress codes. So if you know the dress code is jacket required, that's talking more sports jacket, suit jacket. It's not talking trucker or denim jacket. Next up, you've got to nail the fit. Now, most of you guys aren't going to buy a jacket that's too tight, but you will wear a jacket maybe that's too large. Don't be afraid to take it and get it adjusted, maybe brought in just a bit. The reality is a $50 jacket that fits always is going to look better than a $500 jacket that's too large. Next up, don't neglect the footwear. I'm not saying you got to wear fancy shoes, but most likely that denim on denim look is going to look best with boots or a rugged shoe. Dress shoes? Nah, doesn't match. Sandals? Nah, doesn't work either. Besides rugged leather styles, maybe look to Brogues or Chelsea's. Next up, don't overcomplicate the look. Keep it simple. Minimal accessories. And remember, the formality is casual. And finally, the deadliest mistake. Now, many style experts would say it's matching the denim too closely, but I disagree with that because you can pull this look off, but you've got to be able to pull it off with confidence. So the biggest mistake is if you decide to wear the Canadian tuxedo, not owning the look. Now, I do think the shade of the denim matters. Wearing a Canadian tuxedo in a light color is going to be a lot harder to pull off than going with the darker colored Canadian tux. But the reality is, assuming that the clothing is clean, that it fits you well, I think there's a lot that a man can pull off if he has the confidence to do it. Because the reality is, not all denim jackets are made equally. Well, gents, really quick, let's talk about today's sponsor, Collars & Co. Now, in case you haven't noticed, I'm wearing a Collars & Co shirt with my denim jacket to show you guys how versatile these shirts are. They realize that most dress shirts are uncomfortable, yet men want to look good with a structured collar. So, what if you could put that structured collar on a comfortable shirt that is shaped and made like a polo? And in that show, you get the look of a dress shirt without having to wear a dress shirt. Personally, gents, what I love about Collars & Co is their versatility. You can dress them up, you can dress them down. And these shirts were made for layering. They use a material that is going to wick away moisture and is so much more comfortable than a cotton shirt. These are not collars that are going to be floppy or fall over. These are structured collars. They've got a strong placket right here in the front. And gentlemen, that's why I love to promote this company because I wear their shirts. I love the design. I love the build, the timeless overall look. Oh, and I'm not the only one that loves them. Mark Cuban on Shark Tank, he invested a million dollars into this brand. And he wears the shirts. Here you can see him on The View, in his GQ interview, in his Complex interview. Now, gents, when you go over to their website, you're going to see they've got more than just dress collar polos. They've also got long sleeve polos. They've got outerwear. They have sweaters. And if you just want a classic long sleeve dress shirt that's going to be incredibly comfortable and uses their patent pending firm collar technology, check out their Quattro Flex dress shirts. And that's another thing I love about these guys is all the different selection in the fabrics and you've got four different collar styles to choose from. Now, gents, to make sure you get the best deal on the web, use the code RMRS and that link down in the description of today's video to get the best deal on the web. Awesome company, proud to support them. Now, first off, a little bit of history. The first denim jackets were made in Germany about 220 years ago. In fact, they date the first one to about 1805. Now, in the United States, we started making denim jackets in about 1880, a German immigrant named Levi Strauss. So, from 1805 to about 1960, the trucker jacket was simply a utilitarian work jacket that was made for cowboys, it was made for miners, it was made ranch hands, railroad workers, basically any blue collar laborer that wanted the jacket that could get the job done. Now, in 1962, the Type 3 was released. Before that, most work denim jackets had been a little bit longer, had more pockets, a little bit different design. But now, the modern trucker jacket, this is the one that's going to cinch around the waist, has the double breast pockets, the lower hand warming pockets, and the button up front with collar. I share this with you because, as you can imagine, over the last 200 years, tons of different materials, different types and weights of denim have been used 
to make these jackets. Now, first up, let's talk about selvage denim. This is identified by the telltale self edge on the seam. In general, selvage denim is going to be heavier. It's going to have a denser weave. It's going to use a higher quality cotton. I can tell you that this selvage denim jacket is very stiff. This type of denim is going to be similar to what they were probably wearing about 200 years ago. It takes a while to break in. It's incredibly tough. And yeah, after a few washes, maybe a few dozen wears, it would start to mold my body and it would probably fit a little bit smoother. Now, that may not sound attractive to some people that want to be able to just put on something and wear it. But for those people that are into this type of denim and they like the way it conforms the body, they like the history, they like the build quality, and they like the idea that this stuff could almost, it seems like, stop a bullet. Just kidding, it can't, but it sure feels like armor. This stuff is, uh, yeah, this is stiff. Now, this jacket right here is just simply a dark denim. That other one was probably about a 16 or a 14 ounce jacket denim, and that refers to the weight. This one is going to be about a 10 or a 9 ounce. So, it's much lighter. It's going to be a little bit more breathable. It's not going to be nearly as durable. That being said, it doesn't really need the break-in period. It looks good. Now, the quality of the material, this is not selvage, isn't going to be as high, but for a lot of people, they're going to be fine with that. And similar to the selvage jacket I was talking about, we've got this nice dark color, which in my opinion is one of the easiest ones to wear except with denim. And I know we're, this is a video about how to match a denim jacket with jeans, but I do think that if you look at other options, whether it be chinos, khakis, and all the various colors of those pants that you can pick up, or maybe something more obscure like corduroys, moleskin, cavalry twill, even flannels in a variety of different colors. Any of those pants right there are going to work with this jacket. Now, what about colored denim jackets? These are a little bit harder to find. You're going to see them in blacks, grays, even whites, I do think that a black denim jacket is easier to match than a dark blue color jacket simply because it doesn't exactly usually match most men's jean color, unless you're obviously wearing black jeans. And because of that, there's enough contrast that wearing that combination is relatively easy. Now, what about a medium wash? This one here is a relatively inexpensive denim jacket and it uses a little bit of a stretch denim. Now, the blue could probably be a little bit brighter, but if you're going to see varieties of different blue jean type denim jackets, I like these because you can wear them with black jeans, you can wear them with a really dark indigo jean and they're still going to have enough contrast. They're going to look good and they have, they're dark. And for me, I like my jackets dark. I know there are white ones. I know there are light grays and you can make those work, especially during the summer. But if you're looking for a functional jacket, one you can actually do some work in, one that you don't even have to worry about it getting stained. I do like to stick with the darker colors. And I don't think there's anything wrong with going with a jacket that has a little bit of stretch in it, especially if you want something that's a little bit more comfortable. And with that, let's go back to the jacket I started things off with. As you can see, this one is a mix between the blue and a light wash. Now, a light wash is probably what we would see right here. This one right here, as you can see, it's a mixed wash. It's kind of on the border, but lighter washes, you can see they're not white. You can clearly see the blue in them, but lighter washes for a lot of guys, this is where they start because in their minds, it is easiest to try to pull off with the existing jeans in their wardrobe. And I'm not going to argue. I think a light wash, even though it's going to more likely show stains, it is one of the easiest type of jean jackets. If you want to wear denim on denim to wear with an existing dark jean wardrobe. And gents, really quick, if you're worrying where I got any of these jackets in today's video, I will link to them down in the description of today's video. Now, I talked about fit at the beginning of this video, and I do want to stress one of the things I love about a denim jacket is that you can actually get this adjusted, similar to a pair of jeans. Seamstresses or a tailor, they don't need a special needle like they do with a leather jacket to be able to bring it in. So, darting the back to be able to bring in the waist, being able to shorten the sleeves are all doable. Now, one of the issues is if you need the sleeves longer or if you need excess material, that is probably something that can't be done. That being said, when you're buying a denim jacket, especially online, look in the details what type of fit is it? And again, similar to your jeans, all of these jackets you're buying, depending on the manufacturer, they also use different models and they've got different fits that they use as a standard template. Now, all things being equal, which combination do I think would be better to go with a dark denim jacket and dark denim jeans on pretty much the Canadian tuxedo to go with a light denim jacket and dark denim jeans or to go with light denim jeans and a dark denim jacket? Well, it was a trick question because it really depends on what do you already have in your wardrobe, what message do you want to send, and simply which look do you like best. Straight up, like I said, if you're going to wear the Canadian tuxedo, don't wear it not knowing what you're trying to pull off. That way, in case anyone gives you crap, you can say, hey, I love this outfit. Long live Justin Bieber.
Now with the light denim jeans, dark denim jacket look, I like this because it helps you stand out from the crowd. If anyone else is wearing a denim jacket, the fact that you're wearing this combination, you are going to look different. On the flip side, light colored jeans, ah, I'm just hesitant as a dad, you know, I'm just seeing stains are coming. So that's why I like the dark denim with the lighter jacket. That's the combination if ever I'm pulling off the one I'm usually going for. All right, Jen, so what video to watch next? Boom, I got you covered. If you like today's video, you are going to love this one. Oh yeah, check it out. Right there. Come on, click.